hello everyone and welcome back to Sephiroth Slayer Play Shadow Mortal. Man. So, so I'm going to play video games. When we last left off, blank this mission. Just, just blank it. And I think you all know what I mean by that. The next mission I plan on doing would be... Oh, that was the end of those missions. Okay. I don't know it's not. Beck and Call is there. The Cure. Demarion's possession by, Sh by Sodomon. Lithrael needs your help to find the elixir and heal her mother. Get the beast! Okay. I think I'll go over here and do this mission. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm not doing a big forge tower right now. And that is a big one! Heck no. Wait, these are all big. What the heck? Okay, well, I'll go over to this forge tower, I'll unlock it, then I'll see what's there before I decide on doing anything. I'm gonna try and not make a full episode of side quests after we just had one, what, two episodes ago? I think it was the episode before last. Hold up. <laughs> How did you not see that? The Ranger, name of power. You have to help. My brother was speaking ill of the Dark Lord. It made the slave a furious. <laughs> Here we go. Always glad to help a slave. That's not meant as bad as it sounds. If I were to meet one, I would be glad to help them, but he... You know what? Never mind. Never, never mind. This is, this is sounding a lot worse than it should. Than it did in my head. A long way to this forge tower. Like, comparatively. Most of them have only been, like, 500 feet away. I don't mean forge tower specifically. I mean, like, the, uh... The missions. Only been like four, five, six, maybe seven or eight hundred feet away. This one was like 1.5k. <laughs> Fort Morn. Time to mourn away. And I'm on the wrong tower. Great. I hear it. To synchronize. Fast travel. These towers reach from yesterday to tomorrow. I live on in these stones. Wait, what's all here? It's not much. Oh God! Another stealth mission. His enemies try in vain to keep the terrors of the night at bay. He would extinguish both their efforts and their hope. Hmm. Well, at least I can grab, like, the artifacts and stuff. There's not that many of them. But I'll do the mission first and then warp here and do it. Probably would be faster that way. Really, I just don't want to do the stealth mission after the last one. Oh my god. I don't know how I felt to that last stealth mission. That's what it made me do. Blow up. <sighs> Forgot to read the name of this one. I do the description. Of the it's for the well-being of the queen. The lady, this does not Attacking the camp would be ill-advised. He's on our side. I have no choice, Talion. I need my mother's elixir. Even the stranger says this is a fool's errand. I know who she reminds you of, Talion. She is of this world. You are not. Enough. We attack as planned. I will take care of the orcs. We could follow behind unseen. We get the medicine and we leave. The White Wizard has taken his toll on the Queen. Only in stealth can we clear a path so Lothariel and the men may find the elixir. Emotion fogs your way. Risk without reward is recklessness. This medicine 
will clear the Queen's mind and lead to answers of your past. Then may truth justify our alliance with these people. <coughs> Yeah, start with those two, they're easy pickings. That idiot Cross went in some caves on his own. What was he trying to prove? He ain't that tough. While I'm here. Among the millions of arcanic rocks to be found within the mountainous boulders of Mordor, this stone is unique. It is a dwarven whetstone, used to sharpen axes, knives, and swords to a keen edge that will cut through even the toughest Uruk, or the stony skin of a troll. It's the keen edge what cuts the mountain, as the saying goes. Whoever the stone's user was, it was most th he was most thorough in his efforts. Keep sharpening! You've got to hold your axe until its edge can split one of your beard hairs in two. Oh, it's sharp enough to kill a growl. Now pass me the pipe. Sharp enough ain't what the hunt's about, little brother. You've got to learn to respect the hunt. A keen blade for a clean kill. Without respect for the beast, we're no better than the orcs. Now, let's give her a taste. For Durin, give a dwarf fair warning when you yank hairs from his beard. Look at this, Torvin. <laughs> Split the hair in two. There's hope for you yet. So this was that dwarf's brother, I believe. Just judging based off of the last room we got based off of him, and that was related to him. The dialogue there seems like it would connect to this one. In fact, it's like, I'll be the hunter you always wanted to be. It seems like this was the interaction before then. That dwarf knows no fear. I don't know if he's brave or stupid. Or both. He has no fear of death. But there are many worse things than death waiting in Mordor. I don't understand why men are free so much. Three. Four. <laughs> I almost finished it. Just need a stealth man, one more. I believe I know where to get him. How did he already... Oh well, whatever. I'll get him here. I was coming back from There we go. They must know that she will risk everything. Bring light! Oh, that will stop it? Kill. Come on, come on. Oh no. I think my bow is broken. Nope, there we go. What? How was the alarm raised? How was it raised? How did 
they raised the freaking alarm. A hunter who's good at least it ended off here. Can fend off any prey that gets too close. So right next to where I got the last one. I'm lucky to be alive. So the rat and the ranger explode on <laughs> Let me just keep going because I think the artifact may be up here. Yeah, it is. Broken staff. Some great force rent this wizard's staff asunder. Fashioned from a sapling, this gnarled staff served as a walking stick, magical rod, and weapon for a wandering wizard. The came of its owner and how it was broken is a mystery. Funny thing that. They told us their names plenty of times, but we all forgot. To a man, we forgot. It was like they didn't want us remembering. After a while, they were just the two Istari, and sometimes the big one and the little one. Can't say how I can. I remember the bigger one telling us stories of a goblin city. Of a man who could turn himself into a bear. Of the time when... Well, I guess it didn't matter too much to him that some of his stories needed some cleaning up. Or would scare a dead man out of his grave. When the bigger one left, he took his cane. But he left a walking stick behind, with all these little notches cut into it. He was keeping track of something for sure. Hmm. Down again. Well then. These wizards, the Istari, what do you know of them? Is their power greater than yours? I have not yet been tested against them. Saruman the White is the leader of the White Council. His knowledge of the Rings of Power is deep. We need to squash them like bugs. Their leader has become too much of a menace. Single character. Our crossbows are hungry for a good time. I'm actually going to leave them there for just a minute. I'm going to kill you if you're probably going to see me zip line. Italian. You got it eventually. That's it. I'm tired of the slaves I keep getting. Yours too. <laughs> Need to figure out how to tame them crowds. They'd be much better at breaking rocks and ruining roads. Good move. <coughs> just walk around, just walk Worst around. thing about the pigskins is the why they always act tired. Luga. Those weapons when, which then return to him. What? Grapple, body slam, and fearless. Let's draw and quarter this town, and wear his guts as a crown thing! Ow. You! My playtime will be agony for you now, sweetness. Raise the beacon! Get everything off. There we 
full refill. The fool has fallen. Oh, come on, Astelia. Mario's drive is infectious. I can see why men follow her conviction. Keep it on weird, Sam. Not a weird. Be on guard just in case it's a ranger. Yep, be on guard for me. Entirely on guard. Never, ever drop your guard. Because as soon as you do, I'll kill you in the night. Or because I'm so upset with stealth missions right now, I'll kill you up front. Can I make it up here? No, I can't. That's how I'm gonna get in here. Oh, there's that one guy just right over there. Yeah, it's a problem for you, man. message. Orc leaders plan a gathering by the fishing village. We can prepare an ambush. I owe you a great thanks. I'm glad to be of assistance. We are lucky to have you. These are not your people, Talion. Remember your wife and son. Well, I mustn't keep you. Yes. Every moment is precious. Thario's strength shines through her leadership. It's reflected in the eyes of her people with respect rather than fear. For the rest of this mission, I'm going to be collecting things. And maybe I'll think about this. You know, I'll look at it. And if it proves to be relatively hard, then I will not do it. And wait another day because I'm still a little bit upset about that last stealth mission for the dagger legend dead His enemies tried in vain to keep the terrors of the night at bay. He would extinguish both their efforts and their, ho their hope. Wood detection eliminate Uruk torch barriers near the ghoul nest. Track to distract, then kill Uruks. Wait, don't I 
different floor than me. Okay then. Uh, what if I go over here? You smell blood around here. No, you're imagining stuff again. Oh, smell it. Smells like tackle blood. That's me, you idiot. Someone sneaking around. Wait, what? Wasn't detected. Whatever, I'll I'll do it without the bonus objective. That should be fine. Italian. Really Italian. Don't let it get inside your head. Stand firm and point it. Really? So where's the mission? Oh wait, oh it's above me. There's still one more above your me. Orders, and remember your training for one. Like this episode's already at time, but I'm gonna try and finish these things off. Shing. Them slide masters at the mines need to work their soft skills They're in groups, they're not just straight up torchbearers. All the blacksmiths been doing like this, fixing old weapons. Okay. Glob should spend time making new ones that last longer. Maybe we should go sharpen our blades on his hide. Check it out. Maybe you should check it out. There we go. One set's done. Did ghouls show up yet? No? Okay. Are you kidding me? Okay. You're hearing things. You're always hearing things. Just my imagination. Yeah, yeah, just your imagination. Definitely not the ranger. Really, they're all in a line. And under something. Okay then. How am I gonna get over there? Oh. Italian. What whatever Italian. You do you buddy. There we go. No Italian. There we go. Just wanted to land up here. Oh man, this is gonna be rough. After a battle, I need food and grog. Instead, we'll do nothing but a lot of noise. Somebody sneaking around. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Okay, I'm not doing this one. Changing up its rules every so often for these missions. Don't mess with that captain I was with earlier. He's a real piece of work. I know I saw him fighting. Apothecary Jar. Once held the elixir which sustains and corrupts the Queen of the Shore. When Marwin awoke screaming from nightmares, showing her the Tower of Sauron approaching, Nun sought wisdom. She traveled to the Great Mountain seeking answers. 
When she returned, she brought the elixir with her, and under its influence, she spent many hours staring into the, si into the sacred flame. In it, she heard a calming voice and found hope in her people, if not for herself. <coughs> the north collapses upon us. The Tower of Nightmare builds in Nornan. The Nameless One returns. Mother, take this. <laughs> Thank you, my child. These visions corrode you, and what medicine we still have is fast done away. My visions are the hope of Nurnen. If I must sacrifice myself for my people, so, so be it. What happened in the Grey Mountains, Mother? What happened, Lethario? <laughs> I left with the strength we need. Charges at his enemies with so much rage. And Information can be dangerous. The difference between poison and medicine is often in the dose. Yeah? That is very much true, actually. Very much true. You could kill someone with Tylenol. You just need a big enough dose. The sigil knife has, has seen much use. Originally, it served an important ceremonial function of preparing ritual feasts. However, since the invasion of Nurn by the Uruks, every blade can be turned into a weapon. It has been used against the tribesmen in their resistance. The owner of this knife held it defiantly until the end. Here, take this. I want someone watching over Queen Marwyn at all times. I am afraid she may do harm to herself. Now go. Mother, what is happening to you? Is this gift worth the price you are paying? The end of darkness is worth whatever price. <laughs> Such is the spirit of Nurn and Nethario. Nurn and needs you, Mother. These visions do not bring us enough benefit to befit your loss. But they do, my child. I have seen a vision of the Ringmaker, Keller Brimboy himself. It is through him alone that Nurnan may be saved. This land is rich and green, but there is a sickness on it. These waters are bitter, and the creatures within them foul. But they will feed Sauron's war machine. <laughs> Now this. No talking? Okay, okay. I, I would much rather have you talk on all of them, just for the fact that, you know, it's, it's nice to hear everything. It's nice to hear from you. And I would really like it if you talked more. Thank you and goodbye. Anyways. That'll be it for this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to like subscribe to my channel. Same time for more Steph Watch Slayer plays. Shadow of Mordor, when we will probably do the rescue. But we'll see you then.